You know, I've, I've always said that Passover is a mashup between Beckett's Waiting for Godot and the biblical Exodus story told through a modern urban lens. And I would add to that now that in addition to all, it is still all of those things, but it is also at heart the love relationship between two friends, two young Black men who, um, find the promised land, I think, in their, in their friendship with each other and in their ability to overcome the two sides of um, state-sanctioned white oppression. It's still a hard play to do. I think this time around, we were able to find more joy, more humor, more fun, you know, in, in the playing of this very serious topic. Um, so that that's that's been like a, a real a, a real joy to do at, every night now you know what i mean we've settled into a routine that feels seamless but when you really think about it it's incredibly stressful so there's the you know the pressure of coming back after the pandemic will people be ready to sit in a room with a bunch of people and the requirements for the vaccinations came out and I was like, well, that cut down on the number of people that come. I'm astounded people are showing up vaccinated, having a blast, and that means the world to me. Last time we felt a real responsibility to sort of wake our audience up with the play. And this time it feels like our audience is um, relatively awake and we need to now use the power of the theater to dream into a brighter future. And so it feels there's a levity to the work now that three years ago there was a real there was a real heaviness to what we were doing, you know. And and being on stage with Namir and John is is one of the great privileges and pleasures of my career and my life. But um, I feel like now we're operating with a lot more fun, and that's that's really great. It's intense in every way. Um, I feel so grateful, and I don't think that I could have done it without returning to the same group of people who made it, because there's such trust and such a desire to tell a story that has the ability to both tell the truth about our country, about this country's history, where we're at right now, what's going on now, but also seeks to aspire to something else, especially this Broadway version, and um, a way to heal and a way to be safely in community together. So it's an incredible honor. It's super intense. Um, but I think that it's right. As I was saying to you, like this play has always sort of come together on its own terms. And, you know, Antoinette and I and Matt Ross were like, do we want to go first? What does it mean to go first? And it is a big uh, responsibility to carry because we have to do all this stuff to make it safe, to make not just to make good art, but to make it safe for people to watch it. So it's an honor. It's intense um, and it is such a group effort. That's all I can say is every single person working on Passover is working at the highest level, giving everything so that people can be in community together. And then when you sit in the audience and you hear, even like behind the mask, it's amazing. Like, I remember Antoinette saying something one time that these guys are worthy of living their lives. And it's like saying Black Lives Matter, you shouldn't have to say it, but unfortunately we do. Um, so for anyone who needs that message, I hope they, they come away with that after the play. And for all of us, just that um, looking back at our history and, and looking at our world presently with um, open eyes and, and being willing to self-investigate and reflect is uh, a virtue and something that will help us build uh, a more equitable, prosperous future for all of us.